John, thank you very much. Uh, it's a pleasure as always to see you again. How you doing? It's a pleasure to be here. I'm bad. We haven't had you on in a couple years, and uh, as everyone knows, you uh, you have that alter ego of Harry Carey, so we'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, you're coming to St. Louis, and you're filming, uh, you're taping your first comedy album. That's going to be a big thrill for you. It is. Uh, I figured St. Louis, uh, my sensibilities are very close to St. Louis. I'm from Chicago, and uh, I just like this town. There's something to karma about this town and about being... Uh, you know, performing here and, and the, the crowds are very ex acceptable to me and uh, I go over well here and I figured, uh, you know, why not? The guy gave me a good deal on the, the record, you know, cutting the records. He's from here, so I, that made it all easier, too. Well, now being from Chicago, you must be a big sports fan. I know everybody out there is. I'm a real big sports fan. Uh, I'm actually amazed by the records in sports, you know. Some of them are so phenomenal, you, you have to question the credibility. In fact, you know, Will Chamberlain scored 100 points in a game one time. 100 points. I mean, who's guarding this guy? Gary Coleman? You know, Ricky Rooney was 100 points. Can you imagine the rest of his teammates? Hey, Will, I'm open. Can you think about passing the ball once in a while? Uh, Cy Young won 511 games pitching. You know how hard this is to do? You have to average 25 wins a year, 20 years in a row. It's impossible. I mean, what were they counting as a win back then? He goes to a carnival, knocks over a couple bottles. That's a win, Cy. Got it. It's in the record book. It had to be recorded on the honor system. Did you pitch last week, Sal? Yeah, I won 10 games. <laughs> I pitched a couple double headers. It's in the record book. No problem. It's uh, the award named after him. <laughs> there <laughs> you go. He does that, too. Roberto Duran has won over 95 professional fights. I mean, that, that's, that's amazing. And, and it is until you see who he fought. It was like Louis Duran, Hector Duran, Victor Duran. <laughs> the guy beat up his whole family. Grandma Duran, Duran Duran. He beat up the whole band. There's five wins right there. Cumberland College lost to Georgia Tech in football one time. 222 to nothing. The hell was going on that day? Now, like, you imagine a losing coach at halftime? All right, we're not out of it yet. <laughs> it's only 110 to nothing. A couple, two, three, 16 more touchdowns. We're back in it. We got to get back to fundamentals. Tommy, you got to stop punting on first down. You got four downs to work with. Billy, when you center the ball, you hack it backwards. Backwards, backwards, backwards. Now, we're still ahead with the bookies. They're giving us 200. If we could just hold them. That's probably what Rich Brooks says now these days here in St. Louis, the Rams. Um, you know, that's some good stuff, but we know you do the Harry Carey. It's amazing. You, uh, you've mastered this, perfected it. When did this start? It started when I was a sophomore in high school. Harry Carey used to do the White Sox after he left the Cardinals. And I was like in high school at the time, I used to live at the park because I was only, I only lived six blocks from Comiskey. So I became a big Harry Carey fan when I first started doing him in the nightclubs. Uh, he was just a local celebrity in Chicago. Now with WGN, he's all over the place. But what amazes me about Harry Carey is that uh, the game is incidental to the story he's telling. You know, Steve, I was on Rush Street last night getting totally in the brand. I closed the one bar when I crossed the street out of Taco of that greasy spoon. Oh, there's a triple play. Anyway, I had too many jalapeno peppers. I got indigestion, you know. That's a fastball off Sandberg's head, both benches empty. So I'm looking for the Pepto-Bismol. He's on a stretcher. I think he's dead. Finally, I get a hold of some kale peptide. He's more concerned what celebrity showed up. Hey, the Pope is here today. The group of 30 Cardinals. I guess it's Big Hat Day here in Wrigley. You know, a couple kids were poking the Pope in the back of the head. I guess they couldn't see the game with his big hat and all. And he just reeled around to give the one kid an elbow to the forehead. And I don't blame the guy. I mean, here's a guy. There's a throw to first. Here's a guy who who's worked his whole life to get to where he is. They give him a hat, let him wear the hat. Hey, Snoop Doggy Dog is in the house. <laughs> you know, Steve, Snoop Doggy Dog backwards is Pooch Gotti God. <laughs> hey, the Pope just caught a foul ball in his hat. Look at that, he's got a big snow cone. He doesn't even realize it. Oh, you just can't beat fun at the old ballpark. 
So long, everybody. Here's a guy. He starts off with, here's a guy. That's where it starts, though. That's how, you, if you want to learn how to do hair and care, you start off with, here's a guy, and you end with, I just can't figure it out. Here's a guy, Dave Concepcion, who grew up in the Dominican Republic or Puerto Rico, one of those islands where the sun shines 365 days a year, and he misses a pop-up in the sun. I just can't figure it out. John Caponera. Amazing. That's amazing. I can hear this. We used to show this every week on our show. It was so funny. And uh, we just got tired of showing it, so we needed to get you back on here. John, thanks a lot. All right. Uh, hopefully that album sells well, and we'll be promoting it, and we'll be playing it on our show. Well, thank you very much for uh, having me on the show. And, uh, yeah, if you do get a hold of the album, spread it around, and there'll be plenty of Harry Carey on that, I'll tell you. When's that come out? Well, actually, we're cutting it this weekend, and uh, after uh, it only should take us a couple weeks to edit it. And then he's going to start pressing the CD, so.